Hi everyone, I have a couple of cards featuring Picket Fence Studios Mop Head Hydrangea. This big and beautiful stamp is perfect for the easiest faux watercoloring technique ever. The watercolor stamping will be done with water-based markers on Bristol Smooth cardstock. This technique actually works better on this paper rather than watercolor paper. One of the characteristics of Bristol Smooth is that it can absorb some moisture without any pilling. I'm applying the ink with Tombow markers. I have tried other kinds of water-based markers and I really find that Tombow works the best. The tip is long and it is not a brush tip so it makes it very easy to apply the ink to the stamp sprayer that can produce a fine mist is also needed. I like to use the one by Tim Holtz. And finally you'll need a water brush pen. I've chosen two or three colors for each of my panels and the first thing that I do holding the marker almost parallel to the stamp is apply the ink to the raised areas. Because I'll be following up with spritzes of water, ink can be applied to the entire stamp all at once. Here we go with water, just a few sprays across the stamp. After the door is closed on my Misty, I just let the stamp sit on the paper for a few seconds, apply a little bit of pressure to allow the moisture along with the color to absorb into the paper. For this second stamping, I didn't have to follow up with my water brush pen because the color had moved quite well on the panel. I'm using a little bit of low tack tape to hold my panel in place because it has warped a little bit. Now for the final stamping. I'm going to be adding more definition back into the flower. Because I will not be adding water, the ink is applied to smaller sections of the stamp and then stamped before moving on to the other areas. And you can see how loose the watercolor look is on the panel. And then after I do this stamping, it just gives it a bit more definition again. There's no recipe for this technique. You can do the stampings that are spritzed with water or the stamping where you're adding in definition as many times as you want until you get the look that you like. Unlike watercoloring, faux watercoloring is very quick and easy to do. For each of the two panels, I worked with three or four markers only. So much color variation with less than a handful of markers. With a big stamp like this, I like to work on an oversized panel. It gives me some choices about what my final panel is going to be focusing in on. It can be helpful to use a rectangular die just to lay it on top of your panel, move it around, seeing what the final result would be if it was cut down to any specific area. To add a little bit of shine, I take some Paper Glitz Golden Sparkle and add just a touch of water water to it. Using a fan brush, I pick it up and tap it onto my panels. The four by five and a quarter inch panels are adhered to black card bases that are A2 size, which have been matted with gold foil cardstock. The sentiments and hearts from Mini Slimline Full Front Shaker have been stacked to add a little bit of dimension to the cards. This is a faux watercolor technique that is super quick and easy. I hope you enjoyed this video featuring the gorgeous Mop Head Hydrangea by Picket Fence Studios. Have a peek at bonniecarolee.com for more ideas using Picket Fence Studios products. As always, I appreciate your visit.